I think these awards really do signify now that, that young people are becoming more and more aware of environmentalism. They're, they're really starting to take an interest. They're really showing now um, that they care for the future of our planet. And that's so important because after all, these, these young guys here, they are the future of our planet. So do you think that you're going to get involved in more of this uh, in the future? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A fantastic reception to the, this year's 2008 Green School Awards. We're now in our second year and they're having an increasing impact on encouraging young people across the country to learn more about our world and how to protect it for future generations of young people. The young people have demonstrated a very high standard of work, impressively high standard of work, with some very creative thinking at such a young age. Pupils at Turner's Hill have carried out a shopping survey to find out how many miles food from the local shop had travelled. There was a rogue packet of prawns in there that had travelled 6,300 miles to be in Turner's Hill. And the Scottish finalists, Bankery Primary School, that they visited a local supermarket and they counted how many carrier bags were used in an hour. And then from that, they calculated how many bags would walk out of that shop in a year. It swells me with pride each year to see um, how you guys use your initiative and how you are able to look to the future and, and try and make the world a greener and better place. The winner of the Green School Awards this year is Bankori Primary. <laughs> Um, a lot of our children, our children are seven and eight years old and I think they have shown remarkable creativity so thank you to every single one of you here. When I first started in television I was quite conscious of trying to find smaller charities to endorse rather than the big charities that everyone else seems to endorse and Young People's Trust for the Environment that is what it says on the tin really, you know, it's just getting young people involved and active with the environment around them and looking to the future and it just seemed, seemed like a no-brainer if I'm honest with you. I did an animation about a girl who's using all of her electricity. We learned about saving animals. Okay, maybe that's... We had to do what it is now to the weather to what it was in 1940s. I think we should care about the environment for the world to be a better place. We have a lot of challenges to face in the future to deliver new energies and it's this new generation of young school children that will be solving the challenges that this country and the world faces in terms of future energy.